Sunday today. And I got the track day tomorrow. Oh, that's the loud up there. I got the track day tomorrow. So I need to go put my stock wheels on that have the Michelin Pilot Sports on them because those are going to be stickier than these Nittos. I um, also got to wash the car because this thing is dirty. And I don't know if you can see all these bug splatters everywhere from the uh, trip down uh, up to DC. I think that's all I got to do today. Uh, we got to go get the key first from Kevin. He left it at uh, his place, so I got to pick that up. And then we'll be on our way. A few moments later. Well, guys, I seem to have misplaced, I don't know what you call it, the wheel lock key. I don't know, these are just aftermarket ones. The whatever those are. But, just got off the phone with Davin. He said, probably just check out like AutoZone or something. They might have one. Um, hopefully they do, or else we can get these on there for the track day. And I'll have to track these. Which are still sport compound. They're just not as sticky as a Pilot 4S's. So, wish me luck. And I also have a terrible fitment. But that's what comes with stock wheels. <sighs> and if I roll up to the track with these on, at least I look good. Made it back from the auto store. They don't have the spline kit um, for the aftermarket spline lugs. So I made a couple calls to my buddy Omar. I make car parts and Rodney. Um, I crash cool cars. But Rodney doesn't have any. Omar said he might, said he might have a set or something. So he's checking right now, waiting to hear back. Hopefully he does. So I can switch them out and get the grippier tires for tomorrow because these, these is goods. Those is okays. We, we want the goods. But I got some things. Uh, the store because I think I mentioned this before my Nia splitter which is up there somewhere it always it's recently been the, the screws have been like kind of popping out because I've taken it off so many times to adjust things um, and because I've actually ripped it out a couple times from being low so yeah, sorry um, but like the screw holes are kind of worn out so went out and got some massive screws so hopefully that will hold, hold it in Got some long ones in there, some short ones, but I'll use short ones, but then also use some of the other screws that I have still for that. I got a crap ton of stuff to do this thing before it's ready for Spring Fest. One, I'm gonna wash it today, so I'll film that. Two, I gotta finish. Let me see, yeah. I sanded the hood down, wet sand with 2000, and then went with 3000. So I'm trying to get all as much solvent pop out of this thing and all the rids and swirls out of it as possible. For Spring Fest, I'm also gonna, if I have time, Hopefully I have time, because I'm going to be gone tomorrow. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday night, because I worked on a day. So I have to do it at night. And I have, so pretty much three nights to sand this and correct the whole car. Except for the trunk, because I already did that a while back. Um, and then Friday is going to be ceramic coating it. So I only have three days to actually correct it. I need to get this out before it etch, leaves an etching. But as you can see, I still have sanding marks all up and down here. I just didn't have time because I had to leave for a wedding last week. And I had started that like two days before that. So yeah, didn't plan that ahead very well. But wheels are already coated, so that's good. So literally just got to spray some cleaner on that and hose, power wash it off. And it literally comes right off. Don't even have to scrub. But they're pretty dirty. Oh, you can't even see that. Wow, that's caked on there. There we go. Yeah. But... Some spray will bring that right up. Oh, I also have to get this off. So I'm going to that today. This pla old plastic put this on about three years ago. So I'm going to go back to the chrome. I don't like chrome. But it looks better than this. Because this is already like rock chipped and stuff. Like it's already starting to come off in spots. It just doesn't look good anymore. So, let's get cracking on this wash. Update, guys. Chrome is back to stock. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. Sprayed some Tarex on there, and then power washed it off. It came off in like three minutes. So that was easy. But, time to wash a hoe.
right guys, so Diego at Shore asked me to get a couple of shots of the diffuser, so I got it nice and lit. It's, I just think this looks awesome. Like the lights shine down in the circle around the car. Ooh. Looks dope. But yeah, I got the pictures done with the big girl over there, the A7S2, or yeah, A7, shit, what do I have? A7 II, that thing. So yeah, gotta do a couple more things at home, but for some reason the camera looks like it's about to die. So, get that in the car, we'll go home. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the track. Tomorrow. What is going on, guys? It is track day today, it's Memorial Day. Um, it is currently too early. Actually, it's not even that early, I think it's like 7.30, 7.20. Um, waiting on my buddy Carlo. He's gonna be running with us. About a three hour drive, but we got Mass is coming with me. Um, oh yeah. Carlo also has a little Suzuki carry, right hand drive. It's pretty cool. What's going on guys? We got Madison here. We got Carlo up there, he kinda left me in the dust. Um, we just got gas. And now, I don't know where we're going, actually. I don't know, the highway's that way, but we're going, okay. Oh, look, a little pop. That's gonna have to be cut. Why are we going, sir? Uh, B-I-R. But like, why are we going this way? Oh, uh, that's what my GPS says. Okay, I'll follow you then. Hi, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> We stopped for some Dunkin', as you can see. She's got a munchkins. Um, but we're about like an hour and 45 minutes out. All right, let's go. This is fun. Yeah. You ramble. I do ramble a lot on these vlogs. And that's why they're 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. You can get better at that. Yeah, I are. Yeah, an hour and it's 56. A it's a boy. It's a boy. It's a, a, a skinny boy. It's a skinny boy. We've made it here, except, uh, except, uh, everyone's breaking for lunch. So we're gonna be sitting here for an hour. And we're so glad I let these, this group go. So we'll probably be here for like an hour and 20, hour and 30 minutes. So that's gonna be fun. That's about it. It's like muscle cars and like little tuner cars. Yep. That's what I'm saying, little tuner cars. There's like no. Update. It is hot AF. It's 85 and we're also on tarmac, so it makes it hot AF. Uh, hey, sir. How hot is it out there? Uh, very hot. My shoes got melted. The best $3 ever. Yeah, I know. Expensive water.
this. Not a lot of volume, no one crashed. Well, neither of us did. Uh, there they are right there. Um, but yeah, we're headed home now. We're gonna get some food because we're starving. Some drinks because we're thirsty. Hi right, guys, finally made it back. We were exhausted. We did about probably like seven hours of driving today. We had to drive three hours there, three hours back, and then like an hour on the track. It's totally worth it though. If you guys have a chance, definitely go out to the VIR. I think the next one's in November. Um, but we're at her place right now. We're gonna figure out dinner, get some food. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.